All right, have and have not fans. Now, this might come across as a ranty video, but I mentioned this maybe in a couple of live streams or other videos before that I had an idea for a video before the episode Power for the, uh, what was it, from the 70s came out, not Power Struggle, from the 70s. And the concept of the video was, is Tyler Perry sacrificing consistency for craziness. I mean, it sounds good because it's two C words, right? Consistent and craziness. What I mean by that is, is he sacrificing like the integrity of the show, so to speak, or the quality of the show just to make it more flashy and uh, something for people to want to tune in for? Like, you know, when I say craziness, I'm talking how far is Justin going to go? How far is Veronica going to go? Candace, Catherine, and everyone else. But at the same time, you know, you can have these over the top moments when people shoot someone or blow up cars or, you know, just have sex, sex, sex for everything that moves. But at the cost of a consistency of the person's character and also the continuity of the show. Those are other words. I mean, obviously, the title can only be so long. So I couldn't just say is Tyler Perry sacrificing character consistency and continuity for craziness. And I've said this time and time again, there are a lot of times where I wish these characters were given more to work with in terms of development, because Wyatt, when it seems like Wyatt is doing good, when it seems like Wyatt's character is moving forward, like with Anna, who is helping him recover from his addictions, you know, things are looking up. Um, there have been times where it seems like Wyatt is definitely the son of a judge because he utilizes critical thinking and deducing skills um, that, you know, obviously Jim would have if he, you know, with him being a judge on the bench for so many years. But then he just regresses to, I want to get high, which leads to trouble. Then I'm going to go to rehab, but then I want to get out somehow. Then I want to cause trouble. I want to get revenge, yada, yada, yada. Same with Benny ever since the whole, you know, coming out of the coma from the hit and run. He's just gotten progressively dumber and dumber and dumber. Last season, 2018 was not a good year for Benny. Sure, he might have been in the sack with a few, well, technically three, if I'm not mistaken. Veronica, Melissa, and Gia. Let me know if I miss one. But at the same time, it's just like, come on, man. You just come, come on, take a shower. Take, 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 take a cold shower or something. Wash the funk off, you change your clothes, and get your mind right. Because it's just not doing anything for his character, for him to be the way he is now, uh, without any kind of explanation for it. Um, then with Candace, you know, the whole pimping thing was, was last year. Now she's once again regressing to trying to get this $8 million. And it, it's just gotten old to me. But then again, I still watch the show because, well, I do this for a living. And uh, the fact that I want to see this show through to the end like i don't know when it's going to end i mean as of right now season seven is the final season that has been filmed doesn't mean we won't get a season eight or nine it's just that as of right now it's the last season that's been filmed it's just i definitely noticed that tyler perry really has a way of getting people pumped up for premieres finales mid-season finales and rightfully so because you want to leave the people with a cliffhanger that will want us wanting more and more but why should we care about these characters if they aren't even characters? I mean, if you want to look at an anime example, like how many times can we watch Ash Ketchum remain 10 years old, not win a Pokemon League, but people still tune in? I'm going to be honest. I've given up on the anime years ago. I, I rewatched the old stuff like Kanto. Uh, some of Johto is mostly filler. Hoenn, I love that region. Sinnoh, that was a good series. X and Y was eh. It was pretty decent. But yeah, how many times can I watch that concept before it gets old? Not too much. But for the haves and the have nots, for example, how many times can we see Wyatt try to get high and then either overdose, almost overdose, or gets into a situation where he owes people money? Not that many times. How many times can we see Benny stupidly make decisions or act like an asshole when he's being a disrespectful little snot before it gets old? Not too many times. How about Hannah, you know, either refusing help when she desperately needs it and then pretty much is a hypocritical Christian before it gets old. Not too many times. Veronica with her crazy antics trying to get revenge on her ex-husband and gay son who she refuses to admit is gay. 
how many times can we watch that before that gets old? For me, it's gotten old a long time ago, but for other fans, they love them some Veronica no matter what, which I'm not knocking people who love Veronica and Candace, but can we all agree that not much has been done with their character lately? Sure, they might be the most popular characters on the show, um, but at the same time, what has been done to advance their characters in any positive way? Or at least giving us more backstory on who they are and how they came to be the people they are now. I'll wait. You can type it in the comments and let me know. And then with Catherine just pretty much being... I think that Cat, I think it's safe to say that Catherine in this season in 2019 is who Benny was last year in 2018. Pretty much just hopping into bed and, you know, drooling over anybody she finds attractive. And that's not good. Because it really does nothing for a character. Like, I agree, Jim's been doing that for years. And, yeah, it's good Catherine sticking one to him. But this is completely out of left field. And I feel like that's setting her up for a downfall. Same thing with Veronica. You know, if she does accept David's apology, which does seem to be a trick. When we see these characters who have been intelligent for so long make stupid mistakes like that, it's pretty much Tyler Perry showing us that, yeah, these characters here, they're going to be setting themselves up for a downfall either by being killed off or put in jail or some along those lines. So it would not surprise me if uh, Veronica and Catherine take a fall pretty soon. Not necessarily death, but you, you get where I'm coming from. But I will say this much. The show is still addicting in a way. Sure, it's gotten a lot more predictable than before because a lot more people are, you know, telling me stuff via comments that I've thought about like oh I need to do a video on that but then a lot of people bring it up and it's like oh yeah there's an only so many theories I can come up with nowadays to really knock people's socks off because the story for the most part is a bit predictable despite what Catherine was saying you know like there's no use of doing your stories or your theories and whatnot because you won't be able to predict what's happening next there have been times where that's been true but then other times where it's just like eh I kind of saw that coming three seasons away so yeah but I feel like Tyler Perry should really just roll up his sleeves and get back to the nitty gritty. Use that elbow grease to make this show really good by giving us more development. Like take four characters on the show now and give them more backstory development and growth before you throw in 50 new characters who mean nothing to the overall plot. That's my main complaint there. I mean, like we haven't seen Veronica's mom and the Candace father thing has been dragged out for a while and you know, not really getting to know any of Catherine's siblings, things of that nature just really irk me. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I didn't feel like making like a 20 minute rant video. That's not really where my mindset is right now. But um, maybe I've been in a semi ranting mood because lately I've been calming down in regards to the 100,000 thing. Like I still want it, but it's just like no use worrying myself to death trying to get to 100,000 subscribers because it will happen. It's just not happening as quickly as I wish it would. Um, because over this past week, because what is it, Sunday when I'm recording this, usually we reach the milestone of another 1,000 subscribers. So technically, we should have reached 65,000 by Saturday in order to be the continuous theme of getting 1,000 subscribers per week. But this week has been slow for whatever reason. Maybe because I didn't upload like I usually do right after the episode aired. But like I said, with Valentine's Day and whatnot and eBay and taxes, I've been busy with other projects I've been working on. But... Yeah, I've been trying to not stress myself out about it. It will happen when it happens. I just wish it would happen soon because uh, just a, a maybe three to five YouTubers that I watch on the regular, you know, they don't know who I am, obviously, but they are YouTubers I really like watching for various reasons, whether it be video games, anime, whatever. Uh, a few of them have reached, you know, 100,000. They've gotten their plaques, and I'm like, I want it so bad. I'm kind of mad, though, because the plaques don't look as nice as they used to. Um, that's not really me complaining. It's me making an observation because it looks like they are made a bit cheaper than they used to because I believe it used to be where, you know, you get a, like a frame and then it will have like the silver play button on the inside. Now it's just like a silver plaque that has like a mirror for the YouTube symbol and it doesn't even come in a frame. So that kind of sucks, but whatever, who cares? I want it. So with that being said, folks, you know, I ain't gonna lie. If I, when we get to 100,000, I will gladly contact YouTube and be like, you look, if I have to pay for you to make it the way you used to, I'll, I'll do it. So there's that. But uh, with that being said, um, I, I do hope Tyler Perry does 
improve the quality of the show. Who knows, maybe in season seven, the show is going to be ramped up to be better than ever before. Um, or season seven is the final season. So Tyler Perry put the final touches on the show and he's pretty much all but done with it. But uh, hopefully, uh, oh, damn, that's right. Next week, next week is going to be uh, Medea family funeral on March the 1st. So hopefully within the next week or so, we're going to get a lot of press for the movie and we'll get more news on what Tyler Perry has in the near future, whether it be the Tyler vision, his deal with Viacom, what's to come with if loving you is wrong and the future of the haves and the have not. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on um, the different, like the breakfast club, uh, sway in the morning and other different uh, media venues. And be sure to let me know if you hear anything else as well. But aside from that, just trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention, or, you know, the, you know, the usual like subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. But, and I don't really have to worry about that. I've just noticed a lot of people have been very diligent on that. A lot of these videos been getting more likes and comments than ever before. And I appreciate that. Um, think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I really do hope the show does overall improve ratings are one thing, but quality is another, you know, like it's one thing to watch this show out of pure enjoyment because you know, you're in for a thrilling ride each Tuesday night versus kind of feeling like a chore where, yeah, watch the show this long. I might as well see what happens next. And then I do feel like a lot of people continuously watch because they want to know when Jeffrey Owens is showing up, but he's not showing up until like probably 2020. I ain't going to lie. Either late 2019 or 2020. So thanks so much for tuning in folks. Uh, as always, comment your thoughts and uh, let's just move on forward to 100,000. I think I think what frustrates me the most is the fact that I feel like I'm, I've, I've done everything that I can possibly do. I've been diligent, consistent for the most part, sharing on social media, get asking everybody to get subscribers. But I just feel like I, I'm missing that one push, most likely a media push, whether if it's a cast member sharing a video or if it's uh, Tyler Perry himself. But... Even so, I still haven't heard anything from OWN yet, and it's been a couple of weeks since I sent that email. Um, even a letter I sent to Tyler Perry, that was, what, two or three weeks ago? Nothing from that. So it's almost like, you know, I've been diligent. I've done everything that I could possibly do. It's just a matter of waiting and patience has never been my strongest virtue. Oh, yeah, I am patient, but it's not my strongest. It's one of those things where you know what you need to do in order to do do what you need to do. You just don't want to do it. It's like, okay, I've done everything. It's just waiting for those seeds to hopefully grow. So yeah, just keep me in your thoughts and mind. So I calm down and hopefully we'll be getting a hundred thousand before you know it. So thanks so much folks for tuning in and hearing my mini rant, not just about the show, but my personal life in regards to the channel. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not getting discouraged. It's just a bit, you know, unsettling or unnerving because I just want to reach that milestone. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this topic. Let me know if there are any other things you want me to talk about and I will hopefully uh, have more videos up soon because before you know it, it's going to be Tuesday night. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.